Imperium, and we are the Digi Nerds! All right, guys. So, we've had a lot of changes lately. Um, if you guys watched last week's episode, we left off on day four of our Digi Diary. And then now, today's actually day six. We skipped day five because nothing happened. But we've had a lot of big changes now. As of this morning, I, I woke up to a bunch of evolutions. We've been digivolving all day long. I know, you want to show off your VB. So who do you have there on the VB, Debbie Dude? Bandemon and a den of Digivolve into Pinemon. That's who you're working towards. All right, since you're starting the VB, I'll start with the Digivice V. And I've got Chimeramon. Um, so yeah, we got a lot happening here on our road to the Tournament of... Destroyers! Destroyers! Okay, we need a Frost versus Frost. We need a Frost for the battles. We'll figure out later when we're all fully Digivolved who should be who in the dra in like in the Dragon Ball universe who would relate to them. That sound like fun, Devi dude. I think Klusmon would be a good um Frost. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's start with um because I think almost everybody is Digivolved. We have one device that is not Digivolved yet, but will be right here in this episode. Okay, so. Debbie do. Start with who do you have? No, no, no. I'm just a funny <laughs> silly goose. So, something, something, Mom. You know who that is. You really like this Digimon. <laughs> Dark Knight Mon. Dark Knight Mon X. And then I have on my X2 Black War Gray Mon X. Super awesome in Hardcore Digimon. Okay, so then we'll go with the version 20 here. DM version 20. And I have Skullgreymon! Who just Digivolved as we were coming down here to record. So that was super cool. On the original version 4, got Monochromon, who was the one I was shooting for. I was hoping to get Monochromon. Um, I would have taken Leomon. Really, the difference is the amount of training I did. You have to do nearly 50 training, I found out. 50 times of training here to get Monochromon. And anything under that with good care would have been Leomon. So I would have been happy with Leomon. They both Digivolve into the same Digimon. But I really wanted Monochromon because I think he's an awesome Digimon. I love him. I have our little Monochromon here from the original Cage figures there. Chilling out. I've had actually this one since I was a kid. No, it's not a cage. Okay. This one was, yeah. No, actually, he's not a cage figure. It's from the same English set, I should say, as the cage figures. But he, he wasn't actually released in a cage in Japan, I don't think. Oh, so it's still. There's still the same style and series here in so America. It's, so it's um, st so it's basically the a um, American version of the cage for Yeah, that's why I said that. Cage. Yeah, that's why I said that. And we have our little monochrome on here sitting up on the register attending the shop as he feels right. Yes, I'm the guy. I'm the owner of the shop. Give me my money or I'll take all the stuff home. <laughs> and then on my original Deep Savers pendulum, I've got Zudamon, which I was very happy. I tried a couple of times to get Zudamon here. And I've not been able to yet for my playthroughs. And when he did you open to him last night, I was incredibly excited about it on my way home from work. And then um, I'm shooting for its evolution, which I have not, I'm not going to spoil yet because hopefully I do get it. But um, I've not actually gotten him to Digi, I haven't gotten him, so I haven't gotten the Digivolve yet, too. It's two Digimon I've been trying for on this device that I have not gotten for yet. For a thousand years. For a thousand years, so I was very excited about that. Well, and then, now. the only Digimon that is not Digivolved yet is my Entmon here. Entmon. Which, we're going to Digivolve right now. I actually saved it for you guys here to record and to show off. All right, we're joggressing here, and I'm using the ACOM Wiki app for the joggress. And there we go, Ancient Troymon. And as you guys can Legacy. see there, another Digimon down in my Digidax. Legacy. 
And it's a horse. Yeah, he's a giant wooden horse covered in guns. Okay, that's not really my favorite. Yeah, Daddy thought he was pretty cool, though. And he's the first time I've gotten him, so I thought that was pretty awesome to share that with you guys. Get him for the first time. We got a ton of new Digimon here that we haven't raised before that um, I was really excited about. Um, you've raised Dark Knight Mon X before, because you like Dark Knight Mon X. Yeah, I saw him. Your first time you went through with your DMX, if I'm not mistaken, you raised him, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, he's one of the exclusive Digimon to that device. Yeah. Yeah. Looks Same. Especially for, and especially that um, most Mon, he's a G the most exclusive. Yes, one. he's like the mascot. Devon, um, Loose Mon is the mascot for that device. And then um, Black War Greymon X, I've raised before, and is the exclusive Digimon for there. But on these three devices here are all Digimon that I've never raised before, and that was really cool and really exciting. Obviously, on this one, if you guys watched the last episode, you know it's brand new, and this is my first actual playthrough of it. So. Everything's new there for me, but these guys you saw me add him to the decks, and I've never had Zunamon before and now speaking of Zunamon Let's pull this guy out and put him there Zunamon with Zunamon because he looks awesome We've had a great start so far here with our Digimon and who we've been raising everything has been going actually really smooth for us We haven't actually run any problems um, a few people have asked me um, in comments or in uh, messages there on Instagram. How do I manage these many Digimon? Um, they have a hard time. They told me I have a hard time managing two Digimon at the same time. Honestly, um, it's not for everybody's schedule. It's not not everybody can fit them in their lives. They asked me how do I even carry them around. I have this box here. Is what I use. And I can fit six devices in it, three on each side. And this is how I bring my Digimon around when I have this many going. It's a hard, thick box here. Let me flick it and see how strong it yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, my. Pretty strong, right? Let's see a better punch. All right. Pretty good, right? Pretty sturdy. It'll keep your Digimon safe. If you got more, if you got a lot in here, something like this is a good way to go. I picked this up at an electronic store. I forget what it's Can actually for. Thing? Here. I forget Can what it's... It Put your Digimon in there. Oh, yeah. I forget what it's actually for, but it's a carry, It's like a carrying case for electronics you want to keep safe. So it's a good way to do it. Good way to keep them safe. That's what I use. All right, guys. That's going to be it for right now. We'll see you guys back tomorrow. Peace. We're back on day seven on our road to the Tournament of Destroyers here. And um, honestly, we haven't had any updates yet with our Digimon. All the dudes are still in the same spots. We still got Monochromon, Black War Greymon X, Skull Greymon, <laughs> Ancient Troyamon, Zudamon, Dark Knightmon X, and on the VBs, you have Vandymon still, and I have Monochromon. I mean... Not Monochromon, Chimeramon, <laughs> still right now. Yeah, you can check out Chimeramon. Um, I did start my Nature Spirit up last night. And over there, I've got Tentomon, because me and my good buddy, uh, Mangala, also known as Bond the Tamer for you guys out there, are doing a hash together. He and I haven't done one in a long time. He just got home from being on the road. And we decided to do a hatch together. We're both going to be running the same device and seeing who we get. And we'll do some battles in between. Maybe I'll, we'll end up posting those and stuff. But uh, we've been posting them on Instagram as we've been evolving up through the night and stuff. And all of our new evolutions with each other there. All right. Something else is going on right now. We've been challenged, Debbie, dude. Yes. To a Digi So I think it's time for a Digi Duel. Wow, I have a loose tooth. <laughs> you do have a loose tooth. It's getting real loose now. Yeah. All right, so our buddy Mr. Matt challenged us to a Digiduel with his Ancient Wisemon and Sequoiamon X there. Mr. Matt also sent us something in the mail to go along with the Digiduel. Awesome. So, you want to check it out? Yeah. All right, this is a surprise to Debbie Dude. He had no idea that 
we haven't got anything. I've been keeping it a secret until we can do this. Yeah, because so it's let's better check. to keep it a secret before I want it. So let's check out what we got. Ah, I'm having a hard time. It's all stuck to the... All right, I just rip it open here. Awesome stickers here. All right, so let's check out what we got. This is a really cool package. I like this. All right, so we've got a Pico Devamon, which I actually had the same Pico Devamon here already. So why don't you take this one, Devi dude? Well, thank you. We've got a Gilmon. A Boncho Leomon, Wormmon, and Gumdramon, which this is really funny, the Gumdramon. So, a little while ago, Mr. Matt asked me what would be Pico Devi Dude's partner if he had one. And I put some thought in this, and I thought Gumdramon fit his personality really well. They both are high energy, like to play jokes, and they never back down from a fight. And doesn't that sound like Pico Devi, dude? Yeah. Yeah, so then he, right after telling me this, he's like, oh, I have the perfect thing for you. I'll be sending you with it. And it's a sticker of Gumdramon. So that is really cool. I actually already have this Wormmon over here on the counter. It's right here. So I'll give this one to you too, Devi, dude. You can go put that in your sticker collection. Because Devi, dude's got his own sticker collection going on. Yeah, I got them on my toy box. Yeah, you got them all in your toy box. Uh, when Debbie Dude was real little, I built him a massive toy box. And let's see, so let's put these stickers on since Mr. Matt was nice enough to send them to us. Let's put Gumdramon... On my face! On your face? We'll put Gumdramon over here, actually, just because there's a lot of empty space. Oh! Apparently, I didn't even realize, I already have this Leomon sticker right where I put the Gumdramon. So you can have that one too, Debbie Dude. And then we'll put this Gilmon. I think I already. Oh yeah, I forgot you already gave me that Leo Boncho Leomon. Did I? You already had that Boncho Leomon? No. Oh no. We'll put Gilmon down here. I thought you you there already we'll have that. Oh, I did have that Gilmon over here. Well, now right? we got two. It's already down. No, but I wanted it because you already had it. Oh, well, it's already down. All right, so let's get into the battle now. Since we got lots of cool dudes we can use the battle with, who should we battle the Sequoiamon X with, Devi dude? Hmm, maybe this guy. Dark Knightmon X? Yeah. All right, let's do it then. Here, you get the battle set up since it's your Digimon and your battle, and then I'll just connect it when it's ready. <laughs> that is insane and well, insane. An X battle, yeah, yeah. Since he's using the X device, absolutely do an X battle. <laughs> Insane child. <laughs> All right, let's connect it up. Oh, going this way here. All right, here we go. All right, now. Ooh, you got hit with a super attack there, Debbie dude. Yep. Oh no. Dark Knight, my next is... Oh, that is an awesome close-up. Oh, you got him. Let's see if you can turn this around. Probably. Oh, it's going to be a close match. You're both exchanging hits back and forth now. Oh! Oh, there you go! Way to go, Demi, dude! Way out of all right, so Dark Knight X, Dark Knight Mon X took the win on that one. <laughs> All right, so then the next battle, I'll take that one then. All right, since you did with Ancient Wise Mon, send me one. I'll do Ancient Troya Mon for that battle. All right, we're doing a Z battle here. That's a pretty cool close-up. I do like his close-up. It's not bad. I was wondering when they first saw this Digimon here um, how his close-up would look. Because it could get pretty messy, but no, it looks good. Oh my gosh, that was a real one-sided battle there. What just happened? Ancient Troyamon pretty much stomped it and took the win. All right, 
We took the win on both those matches this time, so you're going to have to come back even harder next time, Mr. Matt. Thank you so much for sending us a challenge here in some good Digimon 2 battle. If you guys ever want to battle us, send me some code, send me the pictures or a video along with them. Instagram is always a great place for that. I am super active there. I'm always chatting with you guys. I love hearing from everybody out there. And Instagram, honestly, is the best platform for me because I didn't live on that one. All right, guys. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show off this awesome My Hero shirt that I got like a couple hours ago. Debbie Dude and I were out in the store with the family doing some grocery shopping. And Debbie Dude's like, oh, there's a My Hero shirt over here. I instantly grabbed it up, bought it, and then didn't even look at it. We come home, we thought maybe the whole Class 1A was on here, but there's only a few of them there. Yeah, that, those are some of Daddy's favorites. Um, I would have liked to have... Um, um, oh, I can't remember his name Bird right now. Dog. Bird Dude. That, that Bird Head. So, there with Dark Shadow his on name here. Is Bird Head. He's one of my favorite dudes. Um, but it's got my boy on here, Deku. So that's all that really matters for his me. His name is Bird Head. I know you would have liked to see Kachan on there. He's your favorite. All right, guys, that's going to be end of day seven here. We'll be back with you guys tomorrow on day eight. Explode. And there's definitely going to be some evolutions then. And we're going to be getting closer and closer to that massive tournament we are getting ready for. As always, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace! Explode! Ah! <laughs> hey, guys, today is day eight. We're back with day eight now of our Digi Diary, and we've definitely got some updates. But before we get into that... Debbie Dude wanted to show you guys what he built. So what do you got here, Debbie Dude? Built a Death Star. So Debbie Dude and I are big Star Wars fans. You've seen me wear Star Wars shirts and stuff here on the channel. I'm a huge Vader fan. I love Vader. I love Vader too. Yeah. I even got Vader inside. Yup. And um, Debbie Dude didn't have a Death Star Lego set, so he built his own Death Star Lego here. Yep. Right here, we have this blaster. Oh, we also have tiny blasters on the sides. Yep. Oh, and also, we also have the rope. But, oh. That Leia and Luke used, right? Yeah. Oh, and, and we have a uh, um, trash compactor. Oh, and also, I even built a little Dinoga for there, too. Yeah. For Christmas, from um, Santa, you got a TIE Fighter and... No, TIE Fighter was from Aunt Zoe. Santa got you the X-Wing. No. That's, that's Grandma Faye. No, Grandma Faye got you, um, uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, no, she also got me that, too. Daddy. No, no, no. I remember Santa gave, Santa, doesn't matter. You got a bunch of Star Wars Lego sets for Christmas. Yeah, I got Of the, the different ships Dex. there. I got, um, the, um, F I got the TIE Fighter from my aunt and, um... An uh, X-Wing. And an X-Wing from Santa. Yup. And now you built yourself a Death Star to play with. Oh, I also built myself a little version of the, um... Oh, the at AT Walker you showed me yesterday. Yeah. And, yeah, you did and, a good job with that. Yeah, and I also made a small version of the Olympian Falcon. Yup, I remember that and too. And also a speeder bike. Oh, you did a really good job on the speeder bike. Debbie Dude's been got a ton of Legos for Christmas. Um, also, just like a giant box of miscellaneous um, ones, like a big set there of like 5,000 miscellaneous ones. So you've been using all those ones to build this stuff. Yeah, this there. kind of stuff. Yeah, we did a great job. All right, so and now that Debbie Dude showed that off, we want to get into the rest of the updates here. So we've had some evolutions. Debbie Dude, show them yours. No, no, that's a BB. <laughs> Whoopsies. I just chopped your horn off. I didn't know that you were so strong. Yeah, Daddy's going to have to fix that when we're done. All right, show him the DMX. Loose Mon! Loose Mon X. And you've got him fully leveled up now. So Loose Mon X is done, set, and ready for the tournament, our first entry, our first official Digimon that is going to be in the tournament. All right, and then over here on my DMX, 
I've got Demon Axe. And I've got mine all leveled up and ready. So we have our second combatant for the tournament. Our first two guys are done and ready. We've got Loosemon X and Demon X as our first two contestants for the tournament of Destroyers. Destroyers. All right, let's just show everybody else off right now. Nobody else has changed at the moment, but it's fun to show them off. We've got Ancient Troymon. Still gonna have Stalgraymon. And then Zudamon. And Monochromon. Oh man, the light of the dang uncle bro. Oh no. And then just on my nature spirit that I'm running with our buddy Mangala, Dentomon. Dentomon. Oh, I forgot to uh to tell you guys. I actually used some of the blocks. And put it in the the trash compactor to be like garbage. Yeah, you guys couldn't see it here, but he's got him in there and it looks really cool. Alright, so that is really all that's happening right now for day eight. We don't have anything else, any other evolutions happening. Um, I am expecting these two guys to be digivolving at any time now. Um, I'm not sure when exactly Ancient Troymon is going to be digivolving today, time-wise, but it should be happening, I think, later in the evening there, because this one does digivolve to Super Ultimate. So you guys have to find out tomorrow who that's going to be. And then over here, Skull Greymon should be digivolving late tonight, like on the real late side, because he doesn't go to sleep until uh, 12 at, until 12 o'clock, until midnight. So he'll be digivolving real late there. Somewhere around there, I think. And then these two dudes, um, I'm not sure when they're going to digivolve yet or if they even will. Because with these older ones, it's not guaranteed to digivolve, even if you've done everything right. Um, I do actually want to show off this one a bit. I know I've been showing what it looks like here. We've been talking Digimon I have on it. But I haven't actually showed it, really. And this is brand new to me, so I do want to show this off. I want to show off the training on this one here. Oh, I didn't get it. So you got to hit it right there, 100. There you go. And that's the only way it works. But honestly, out of these old DMs, this is the my favorite style of training. They all have a few different ones. And then, I just once again, the whole device is in Japanese. There is no English on it, but it runs the same as all the other ones. So if you know what everything means and looks like there, it's easy to figure out and play with here. And I love this device. I think it's great. Um, I'm really happy to have it. And then, if you guys haven't seen the Nate, the uh, OG Pendulums before, they are pretty much exactly the same layout-wise, but everything is in English now instead of being in Japanese. And then you have pictures here instead of words for your food there. Battle. You do have a joggers option here, which was new to the pendulums. And then the light on off. The one thing I will admit with these old ones that kind of trips me up sometimes is that whenever you leave the option on, the device remembers that and stays there on that option. So for instance, here I go to the light, it's set to off or it's gonna start the arrow on off because that was the last thing I've done with it, is turn the lights off on it and they kind of remembers that and leaves them there which i think is kind of a neat little feature but sometimes trips me up if i'm going to like defeat them if i had it on vitamin last instead of having it on meat i'll go to push it thinking it's going to be on meat like all the modern devices do it um i end up feeding a bunch of vitamins at first accidentally sometimes yeah so these devices are really awesome they're um old ones are really special in my opinion because they have a bit more personality and you do get a lot more time with them. As you guys can see, starting these ones up here and running some of these newer ones compared to running these ones, they are moving much faster, much quicker. This guy is still at adult level here, while over here we're at super ultimate level. And this one we're at an ultimate level. So it, I like that aspect of them. It's really cool. And again, if you are able to pick up some of these old ones, I definitely suggest doing it just for the personality of them, and it, it's a little bit different a play, in my opinion. I think they're a little um, 
I don't want to say more fun, but for me it does because it also reminds me of my childhood. Um, my brother and I were just talking the other day. One of my brothers um, was in Taiwan about when we were kids taking our digivices and our V-pets into the woods. And we used to play in the woods in our backyard there and pretend like we once we went into the woods, we've been transported into the digital world and using our digivices, our D2s and D3s there as our digivices and getting those random encounters there really felt like we were meeting other Digimon and playing with other Digimon and battling them and stuff. And we'd make like little forts and villages in the woods behind our house there. And it's just a super special and fond memory and time of mine, life, with me and my brothers playing with our Digimon. And that these devices just remind me of that time. Same thing with the Digivice there. And I was talking with, um, it was Uncle Kai who I was talking to. I told you, we talked to Uncle Kai the other day. Um, that the one device I've always wanted, and to this day is one of my top three, like, most wanted devices is the Japanese D3. When I was a kid, he had, my brother, one of my brothers had the Japanese D3, the other one had Japanese D3, and then me and my young, other younger brother had the English D3s. And the Japanese ones were just so much better, um, graphics-wise, material-wise, playability. Can I see? Yeah, absolutely, Debbie. Wait, is this the right one? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Who do you want to see? The oh, Japanese that's the one. one. There you go. Um, they were just so special, and I was kind of envious of the Japanese ones at the time. And to this day, I still have never owned one, and uh, you got to get the stop exactly at 100, Debbie, dude. Oh, 100? Yep. And then, to this day, it's up there with my top three devices I want. Um, Japanese D3, the Pendulum Progress Armageddon, or version 2 there, and um, another Nightmare Soldier OG Pendulum. Because um, mine doesn't work well. I've got lots of issues with it, and I'd love to have another one to replace, um, put my custom shell on it there. But those are like my big three devices that I wish I had. Uh, maybe one day they'll happen for me. All right, guys. With that, yeah. it's going to be the end for day eight here. We'll be back with you guys on day nine with hopefully some more evolutions and more guys ready for the tournament. So we can start shaping up and finding out who our final contestants will be. All right. Peace. Hey, guys. Today's day. That, that is not, I guess, I guess that's it. <laughs> yes, today is day eight, and um, we've had some big changes uh, all the ways around. We got really some big, changes. big with pies. Yes, you're very excited about the show off who you got on your vital bracelet. And Papa Piedmon. Yes, you've got Piedmon. And on my VB, I did evolve into Ultimate Brachiomon, Steampunk Dinosaur over there. And then I started a new dim today, and I've got Sangumon right now. All right, so let's get into these dudes right here. All righty then. So, yesterday I did evolved on these two guys. We now have two more contestants ready for the Tournament of Destroyers. We've got... Loose Mont Satan mode. Wait, there's Loose Mont X and Loose Mont Satan mode. Yeah. So now this guy is going to get put in the storage. There we go. Bye. Now we got both the DMXs in storage waiting for the tournament. We've got Loose Mont in storage. But then I ended up hitting Skull Mammoth Mon yesterday on this bad boy. But something happened. He died. I thought, I heard there was a trick in order to freeze them there, and I thought I did it, and I messed it up, and I left them alone all day today, because I thought he was frozen in place, and he ended up dying on me. So we had a contestant drop out of the tournament. But, luckily, I've been raising this guy with my buddy Mangala, so we're just going to have the Nature Spirit take its place, which is Tortamon at the moment. And then over on the Deep Sabers, we still have Zudamon. And over on the version 4, we still have Monochromon.
So we've got three contestants ready so far for the tournament. We've got... This Mon X, this Mon... The Satan Mon, and the Demon X! We've got these three bad boys set and ready for the tournament now. Now all we have to do is wait and see if the rest of them are going to end up digivolving. These OG devices, um, even if you do everything right, you still don't digivolve sometimes. So... You guys are going to have to tune in on the episode of the tournament to find out who they end up digivolving into. We're going to end it here to right now with this episode. So if you guys like these Digimon videos we do, if you guys love Digimon as much as we do, make sure you giga blast that like button. And touch your view and subscribe button down below. And as always, it helps us out a lot. Thank you everybody who subscribes, likes, comments, and views. You guys are all awesome. A special thank you to our Patreon supporters, War and... David Audrey! You guys are the best. If you guys want to find out how to help support the channel more, go check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description. And as always, from me, my family, to you, you guys have a digitastic day! And don't forget, the tournament is coming!